Bangkok. Hanging around a Bangkok street was a tough and wiry Thai guy dressed only in black shorts. As I approached, he handed me a joint that he'd been smoking. So we finished it. I nodded in appreciation. He smiled and I continued walking. Paris. A cop had arrested a mean-looking rat-faced criminal, improbably dressed in a zoot suit. When he spotted me, he made a face and spat on the ground in front of his feet. The cop gave him a vigorous clip over the ear, which sent his hat flying. Mumbai. The guy looked like a poor man's Omar Sharif the 1960s heartthrob movie star. His tie was at half-mast. He looked frayed from the heat, humidity, noise and pollution and announced that he was very thirsty. So we retired to a shitty beer bar full of miserable-looking Indian men drinking themselves into a stupor and proceeded to spend the next few hours boozing. Istanbul. Late evening, piles of burning rubbish exuding acrid smoke and gangs of natly dressed young men walking the streets. I knew the earnest young man who had been walking with me. He had a sales pitch which he was struggling to deliver. It came out awkwardly. Sir, you like to fuck Muslim girl? The worn business card he offered was disappointing. It depicted a generic photo obviously downloaded from the internet, showing a woman displaying the promised land. Amsterdam. It was a surreal spectacle. Two middle-aged men punching each other in the face on a cold but sunny early morning street. evening as an older woman stepped drunkenly out of a doorway. She politely asked me to escort her home, so she put her arm through mine and leaned her head against my shoulder as we walked silently to her apartment.
Kintamani. An unseen kid in the vegetation beside the track yelled out, Orang, brat! Another kid further down the road relayed the message. The villagers would be prepared and my arrival would kick off the ritual of greetings, drinking coffee and smoking cratic cigarettes. 